Watch you guys, today we're taking a look at local reinstall and cloud download. Which method should you choose? Now, if you go into your start button here and into settings and you go into recovery, inside here you'll see reset this PC. This is where we can reinstall Windows by using this method. But you do get two options here, which is choose an option, keep my files, remove apps and settings, but keep your personal files. And then this one obviously removes all of your personal files, apps and settings, and will reinstall Windows with a clean install. So we'll just go for this one right now and click on keep my files. And then you, this is where you're going to get the option uh, cloud download, download and reinstall Windows. And then you get local reinstall, reinstall Windows from this device. So there's the options available to you. Which one should you choose and which one's the best? And it also says here, Cloud Download can use more than four gigabytes of data. So which one should you choose out of these two? So basically, Cloud Download and Local Reinstall will get the job done. They're both exactly the same, apart from they will do it in a different way. So for instance, we'll start off with the Cloud Download. As it states right here, it's going to download and reinstall Windows by downloading all of the system files from Microsoft themselves. And this can be a lot quicker to do because it's going to be downloading them directly. And these will be all fresh files from Microsoft themselves and it will come straight down. So if you've got a fast internet speed, this can be very quick and easier to do if you want to choose a cloud download. If you're on uh, no internet access or you don't have uh, fast download speeds, then local reinstall is going to be your option it's going to reinstall windows from this device that means it's going to use all of the files that are on your computer now if your files are corrupted or you may have some sort of issue with it sometimes local reinstall can fail and the only way you can get around it is by doing the cloud download and in some cases cloud download can actually fail and you will have to then do a fresh install using a bootable USB flash drive by using the media creation tool from Microsoft's website. But let's just assume that you can use either one of these and they're both going to work. Which one should you choose, cloud download or local reinstall? Personally, I would go with the cloud download if you do have an internet connection because this is going to be the quickest way to do a fresh install of your operating system. Now, if you have a slow internet connection, you may be thinking that the local install is going to be a much faster way, but this actually takes quite a long time because it has to uh, find all of the files on your system and put them all together and then basically reinstall Windows from those files. But I prefer to do cloud download myself because you're going to be getting fresh, clean, downloaded files from Microsoft and it's going to reinstall them on your system. Again, these can be more than four gigabytes in size. So bear that in mind as well. And if you click on here, help me choose, this will give you some information about what uh, the cloud download is and what the actual uh, local reinstall is. So you can always read through this article and this will give you a bunch of information about what this actually does, like remove an installed Windows update, reset your PC and so on. You can read through all of this information and it will give you some information about what it is. Problem, it will say the problem you're having and then see this section and you can click on these and it will take you straight to this section right here. And this is all you have to do. So if you've ever wondered which one you should choose, I would personally go for the cloud download. It will then, as you can see here, download and reinstall Windows and you can change these settings right here. And once you click on these, it will tell you download Windows and reinstall Windows and it says yes here. So let's go back here and put, uh, push cancel and I'm going to cancel out of this. So basically that is it. That is the reset PC uh, options inside Windows 11, but this is also the same for Windows 10 as well. Anyway, but that said, I think that is going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this video helps you out. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support with your tier one or tier two or tier three. It doesn't matter. I appreciate everyone who has joined my YouTube members. And also, if you fancy joining my Discord server, the link is in the video description. I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.